Hey guys, it's Sean from EasyIrrigationRepair.com. Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to add new valves or bypass broken valve wires without using one of these. Today we're installing the doubler squared, which is a four valve model because we installed some new valves and like most systems are short on wires. We've got four valves we need to run, but only one good hot wire that runs back to the controller. Over the years, wires go bad underground, and with the expansion of landscapes, this can leave you without enough wires to operate all your valves. If you've ever had a valve wire break underground, you know what a pain it can be to try to fix it. You can dig, and dig, and dig, and dig some more, and still not find it. Especially if your wires are running underneath driveways or walkways. And you can't just tie two valves together, your system won't have enough pressure to water both zones properly. Doubler comes in a two or a four valve model and allows you to bypass broken wires or even effectively add new wires to control the addition of new valves. By installing Doubler, you can complete an all-day job in just minutes without all that back-breaking digging. Doubler installs directly in the valve box along with the valves it will be operating. It's completely waterproof and can be installed any distance from the controller. Whether your valves are across the yard or down the block, if you have the power, Doubler will operate them. Let's start by locating a good hot wire that is running back to the controller. In this case, we're going to be using the red wire. If this wire is currently being used by a valve, we need to disconnect it from that valve. Let's connect our Doubler wires. The black wire of the Doubler is going to connect to our good hot wire going back to the controller. This is going to be the red wire. This hot wire should only be connected to the black wire of the doubler and not connected directly to any valves. Next, we will connect the white wire of the doubler to the valve field common. This is the same common wire that all of your valves are connected to. The remaining wires will be the hot wires for your valves. Each time the doubler receives power, it will cycle to the next output and operate that valve. The power from the controller will run in the black wire of the doubler and will come out one of these four output wires. This is how we can use a single hot wire from the controller to operate multiple valves and still maintain independent watering times. These outputs will operate in the order of red, yellow, blue, gray. Let's start by connecting the red wire to the hot of the first valve. Next, let's connect the yellow wire to the hot of the second valve. Connect the blue wire to the hot of the third valve. And let's connect the gray wire to the hot of our fourth valve. If you're not needing to operate a fourth valve, you may cap this output. Once you've installed your doubler in your valve box, let's complete the install at the controller. Now that we have the doubler installed, the last step is to connect the stations you want to use at the controller using jumper wires. Jumpers can be made from any scrap wire to your specified lengths. These will connect all your doubler stations together. Locate the station with the hot wire going to your doubler. In this case, it's the red wire on station two. Simply connect jumper wires between this station and another three open stations of your choice. And then set your watering times. This will allow you to program individual run times for each valve on these corresponding stations. Please note, on digital controllers, your doubler station should not be in sequence. We recommend that you skip a station for reliable operation. While the doubler only needs 35 milliseconds to switch, some digital controllers can switch so quickly that the next station will power up before the last station is powered down. Doubler will not detect the voltage drop it uses to switch in these cases. When skipping stations, the station in between can still be used to water its valves as usual, or if you're not watering a valve, please set a minimum time on this station to delay activation of the next station. For controllers equipped with a station delay feature, you may also program the station delay in lieu of skipping stations.
Once installed, test your system by activating your stations in sequence to be sure everything is operating properly. After servicing or testing of the system, or if valves become reversed, simply turn the last doubler station off and on until correct valve is watering. In our install today, this would be station 8. Turn station 8 off and on until valve 8 is watering. This will put the doubler valves back in order and all valves will water in the correct sequence the next watering cycle.